Hi, my name is Todd. How you doing? Good. Okay. Uh, may I ask, go ahead and check your wristband, please? And go ahead and tell me your full name and your birthday, please. My birthday is November 9th. All right, you passed the test. All right. So what uh, your doctor has ordered is what they call a thyroid uptake and scan. He uh, has noticed some elevated TSH levels on your uh, recent lab work, and so he's concerned about the function of your thyroid. Have you ever had a test like this done before? Yeah. Okay. Well, it's a pretty easy test. All you got to do is just pop a pill, and then in a few hours, uh, lay under our camera so we can get some pictures. Um, I'm going to go ahead and ask you a few questions uh, before we continue. Do you have any allergies to iodine? Nothing. Okay, any family history of it that you know of? No. Okay, fabulous. That would be a number one contraindication for this test, and it would prevent us from continuing. Also, I'd like to know, would you be able to return in about six hours for some pictures? Uh, yeah. Okay. And we'll need you 24 hours from now as well, so we can do just a quick count, it's like a five-minute appointment. Would you be able to uh, come tomorrow? Yes. Fabulous. Mm. All right. Are you currently on any medications right now? Mm. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Have you had any recent CAT scans or x-rays in the past few weeks? No. Have you had any surgeries within the last year? And you have had recent lab work done, and that was an elevated TSH level that I noted. That's a thyroid stimulating hormone. Something's in your body is telling your thyroid to kick out more and more uh, 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 thyroid uh, juice. And so, we're, yeah, that's what we're going to be taking pictures of. That's what the doctor's concerned about. Uh, have you recently had an ultrasound of your thyroid on your neck? Yes. All right. When was that done? And are you currently taking any vitamins, cough syrup, dietary drinks, um, anything of that sort? No. Okay, you're not taking any thyroid medications? No, not yet. Okay. And uh, do you have any family history of thyroid disease? No. Okay. Any recent weight gain or loss? I gained weight. Okay. And uh, about how much weight and how much amount of time? About a month and a half? Okay. Is that unusual for you? Yeah. Okay. You had trouble sleeping? Yes. Okay, and uh, what kind of trouble are we having? Well, I don't have like my whole sleep standing up. Restlessness. Yes. You feel an, a physical anxiety as well uh, at the same uh, time. Yes, yeah, sometimes. Like Antsiness. Yes. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, any chance you could be pregnant? No. Okay. And are you on any type of birth control? No. May I ask when your last uh, menstrual uh, cycle ended? Of this month. And uh, any chance you can be breastfeeding? No. Okay, for sure now. Okay. Oops. And are your cycles uh, fairly regular? Yes. All right, great. And so what we're going to do is um, I'm going to present to you a, um, a capsule about the size of like a little vitamin pill or a Sudafed. You know, it's not too terribly large, but it's a slightly radioactive form of iodine. It's a very slight amount of radioactivity, very low energy. But what it's going to do is that iodine is going to circulate in your body. And your thyroid gland is going to take that iodine out of your bloodstream as well as that radioactivity and allow us to take pictures of your thyroid gland. We're also going to use this device over here and this is an uptake scanner and what it's going to do is it's just going to simply, uh, it's a detector that's simply going to take the number of counts that it, uh, your thyroid is emitting after it's uh, absorbed this uh, radioactive dose. Uh, you're not going to feel anything with these uh, cameras, uh, you know, maybe a few uh, moments of uh, maybe a little muscle strain, because when we take pictures, we'll have your neck uh, tilted back a bit, pillow under your shoulders, so we can get a nice good view of uh, your thyroid gland. When we have you come back in six hours, um, after your body's had a chance to absorb this iodine and, and uh, get it circulating, we're looking at about a 20 minute appointment. About, uh, we're gonna take three pictures, about five minutes a piece, 
and then to get set up and use the, the uptake uh, detector will take about another five minutes. When you come back tomorrow, in 24 hours from now, uh, we're simply going to do the thyroid uptake detector, and that's uh, that's like a five minute appointment, and then you're free to go. Would that be uh, a problem with that? Yeah. Okay. Also, uh, what I would like for you to do is to refrain from eating any iodinated foods, foods that have uh, higher amounts of iodine than other foods. We're looking at like uh, cabbage, kale, greens, shellfish especially, but seafood in general, and iodized salt. Would that be a problem? No. You can stay away from those for at least 24 hours? Yeah. Okay, after tomorrow's appointment, you, it's, it's all fair game. You can eat all you like, okay? We just don't want anything to compete with our iodine pill that we're giving you uh, and being absorbed by your thyroid gland. We want our pill to get absorbed, and not, not something from the food. Okay, and um, after, also after I present this uh, capsule to you, uh, I would like you to refrain from eating for about an hour or so. Once again, we don't want any competition with your body absorbing this pill. And uh, you shouldn't feel anything with this. And, that's pretty much the whole thing in a nutshell right there. Do you have any questions? Now, with the pill, do you feel nauseous or, or feel something? Uh, will you feel nauseous with the pill? Are you feeling nauseous right now? No. Okay. You should leave here probably feeling about the same as when you came in. Uh, the pill's not going to do anything to you. It's not going to make you feel sick. And uh, unless you have uh, an unknown allergy to iodine or uh, unknown hypersensitivity to it, you shouldn't feel anything with it. And like I said, the radiation is a very low dose. It's not going to affect anybody around you. All right? So do you guys have like a list of the stuff I should be doing? A list of things you shouldn't eat? No, we don't actually have a list on hand. Just just uh, certain greens, vegetables, okay? Turn up. Much like salt. Yeah. The iodized salt. But if you can refrain all from any salt. I mean, unless you know for sure that you do not have iodized salt at home then you could use that salt. But if you went to a restaurant or, or whatever, and this is just for 24 hours, okay. um, just refrain from that, from uh, the salt, the iodized salt. Even though it's a very small amount of iodine in the salt, still, it, it'll compete with our pill. And we just, you know, if we can avoid it, you know, provide better pictures for your doctor and better readings for him as well, so he can help you uh, feel better and, and diagnose what's going on. Okay. And you, you don't have any trouble swallowing a uh, capsule? Okay, fabulous. Well, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and get the pill for you. I've already uh, done the counts for it. I've already done a, a pre-reading of it. And so all you have to do is pop it. Um, when you take the pill, it's going to come in a plastic vial. I will ask you if you can just go ahead and dump it into your mouth from the vial and not handle it with your hands. We don't want to get any contamination on your hands and you know, throw off our readings or our pictures. Okay? All right. There's one more, please.